That right there was the moment when Amazon warehouse workers in Staten Island found out that they won and they successfully voted to form a union. And how could you not be happy for them? This is game changing. As others have pointed out, this is essentially David beating Goliath. The fact that they pulled this off. I just don't know what to say about it. Now, all of this was possible because of one man, one Amazon warehouse worker that decided to blow the whistle on the company's terrible practices during COVID. He single-handedly organized Amazon and made this happen. As journalist Jody Cantor writes, Chris Smalls, fired from Amazon almost two years ago to the day, just popped champagne outside the NLRB offices where he and his peers won one of the greatest labor victories in a generation to the first Amazon union in history, he said. Now, for more on this, we go to Jake Johnson of Common Dreams, who explains, according to an initial tally released by the National Labor Relations Board, there were 2,654 votes in favor of recognizing a union and 2,131 against. The number of disputed ballots, 67, is not nearly enough to change the outcome. The historic unionization drive at the JFK 8 Fulfillment Center was spearheaded by the Amazon Labor Union, a worker-led group not affiliated with any established union. Christian Smalls, the president of ALU, was fired by Amazon in 2020 after he led a protest against the company's poor workplace safety standards in the early stages of the coronavirus pandemic. When COVID-19 came into play, Amazon failed us, Smalls said during a press conference after the union victory was announced. We want to thank Jeff Bezos for going to space because when he was up there, we were signing people up. Love that quote. Amazon, which spent $4.3 million on anti-union consultants in 2021 alone, worked hard to crush the unionization effort, forcing employees to attend hundreds of captive audience meetings and threatening workers with pay cuts and other potential consequences. But the company's union-busting campaign wasn't enough to overcome the upstart revolt led by ALU, which was founded just months ago. I don't know what to even say about this. This is such great news to start the weekend with or the end of the week with. Uh, you know, this was done by an organization, as the article pointed out, that was formed months ago. And one man did this, Chris Smalls. So he should be very proud and everyone else should take note. This is how it's done. If he did this, then certainly you can do the same thing. You know, follow in his footsteps, potentially organize your workplace and even knowing what you're up against, even knowing the dirty tactics that this company or your company will inevitably pull, you can still beat them. Chris Smalls showed everyone what was possible. And what's funny is Amazon tried to fight against this union by making Chris Smalls the face of this effort as if he wasn't already the face, but they thought that that was a bad thing. And he explains this himself on Twitter. Amazon wanted to make me the face of the whole unionizing efforts against them. Welp, there you go. Jeff Bezos, David Zapolsky, congratulations. Amazon Labor, we worked, had fun, and made history. Hashtag ALU. Welcome the first union in America for Amazon. God damn, this is good news. This is such good news. This is incredible. And this is a game changer specifically because usually all it takes is the first domino to fall and then the rest will follow this could single-handedly catalyze a company-wide unionization effort that's what we saw with the starbucks union right one successful unionization effort led to dozens of unionization efforts across the country so this is all that it took and now amazon knows and amazon is pissed so they put out an unhinged statement which is just honestly comical so they write we're disappointed with the outcome of the election in staten island because we believe having a direct relationship with the company is best for our employees oh bullshit we're evaluating our options including filing objections based on the inappropriate and undue influence by the nlrb <laughs> that we and others including the national retail federation and u.s chamber of commerce witnessed in this election now i love how the first uh, unionization effort in bessemer Alabama. Alabama. Um, I believe there's a revote coming soon. I don't know what the date is because Amazon, they themselves, um, they exerted undue influence over the process, which was inappropriate. But now they're just basically saying the same thing about the NLRB. No, you undue influence. Cope and seed, Amazon. Cope and seed, get fucked. This is so great. Um, and I don't know how to even process this information because usually 
when it comes to worker rights in America, it's defeat after defeat, at least at the national level when it comes to Congress, right? You know, the minimum wage increase didn't get passed. There's less protections uh, because regulations are getting stripped. But at this grassroots level, this is actually an avenue where we can feel hopeful. This is just we haven't seen this sort of labor movement in decades. And this is truly a reason to be happy because workers are making it happen. Workers for the first time in decades are actually standing up in unison and they're saying, we're not going to take this anymore. We're fed up with the bullshit. We're not going to put up with the abuse. We're forming a union. And even though these companies do everything to break up these unions, to stop the efforts, to you know threaten and intimidate, workers now know why a union is necessary. So this is just great news. I don't have much else to say. I just wanted to share the good news with you. Um, certainly something that I am looking forward to seeing more of. Again, kudos to Chris Smalls. What he pulled off here shows that this is possible. It seemed impossible, but he proved to everyone that it's possible. He is a national hero and absolutely follow in his footsteps if you want to change not just your workplace, but the country for the better. If every single company in America saw this, if more people led efforts to unionize, organize their workplace, imagine where we'd be in this country. So this is really cause for hopium and inject this straight into my veins because this is incredible news.